NSFW warning. This series might or might not contain some 18 plus content. I'll most likely cut it out and put a link to my Instagram account in the info box so you can read it there or else my channel's getting removed again lol. Trigger warning. The series contains cheating. Enjoy this mess. Sooner Intero. A menace. He's what most people would like to call a troublemaker. Always has been. Always will be. Nice matched Sumu. Oh. And you were killing it today Omi Kun. Call him like that one more time and I might just stab ya. Osamu wriggled his brows. See me daddy. Atsumu hopped over the counter and went for Osamu's neck while Osamu tried to kick Atsumu's ass. Beating him up like back in high school. Will this ever get better? Sakusa pinched the bridge of his nose while Suna just snorted. You're living with the worst twin? What do you expect? Heck. What do you mean worst twin? Osamu snorted. Like Rin said. I'm obviously the better twin. Osamu and Suna smirked at each other while Atsumu just scowled at them. You two are insufferable. I don't really know if you're that better. Atsumu gasped. Well look at you mister. Goody shows. Didn't know you switched to the dark side of the world. Seriously Tsumu? We're talking about Kyo here. Sakusa shot Kamori an annoyed look. The volleyball players joined Osamu at the Anijiri Mia restaurant in Osaka after their match against each other. The EJP Ragens were narrowly defeated by the MSBY Black Jackals, losing 3-2. After getting some of Osamu's best food, they ended the evening with sake cocktails, and other drinks. They all drank for various reasons tonight, some good, some bad. Atsumu and Sakusa because they were celebrating their victory. Kamori, because he wanted to vent his frustration and wouldn't have been able to stand his cousin any other way. Osamu and Suna, because they were both grieving over something that was so close and yet so distant. Unattainable. Hey Rini, I'm leaving now. I'm dead tired. Alright, babe. Want me to take you to the hotel? Osamu's stomach dropped. Babe. Osamu had known Rin for far too long now. That he was in a long-term relationship now was actually not typical for him at all. Suna was a daredevil, a charmer. Honestly, he didn't care about relationships. He was always just looking for the next hookup, was much too quickly bored with a person. All the more Osamu wondered why Suna was stuck with Kamori of all people. He felt sorry for him. Kamori was a good soul and obviously too naive to see that Suna was anything but the caring loving boyfriend he pretended to be. Ah, no. Stay a little longer. Kamori leaned over Suna's shoulders and gave him a kiss on the cheek. Dopey grin perched on his lips. You haven't seen your friends in so long. Suna leaned into Kamori's touch before taking his hands and kissing them. Make sure you get there safely. I will take care of that. Sakusa interrupted as he stood up and eyed his slightly inebriated cousin. The match was exhausting. They were all worn out. That Kamori wanted to rest now was quite convenient for Kiyumi, because he also felt a bit tipsy. Oh gosh yes take me with Yomi. I just wanna sleep. The match was way too exhausting. And the alcohol too much? No. Yes. Kiyumi and Motoya giggled. The twins were lightweights. Osamu managed to drink maybe slightly more than Atsumu. Compared to the others they still got drunk much faster. Alright alright. Let's go. Enjoy the rest of the night. Don't stay up too long. You too. Suna placed his head in the palm of his hand and waved with his other hand while Osamu nodded at them. Bring them home safely Omi Omi. Osamu shut up. Everyone but Atsumu giggled. Gosh, he hated his twin. Bye Samu. Osamu waved as he cleaned up their glasses and wiped the spot on the counter. He watched Suna out of the corner of his eye and met the fox-like eyes that were silently eyeing him as well. Osamu frowned. This between you and Kamori is serious. Huh? Suna hummed. Brought the glass of gin tonic to his mouth. Not moving his face from his palm while his eyes were glued to Osamu's. He pulled on the straw and sipped. Yeah sure. He didn't bother to delve further into the topic. It tastes sweet. How can it taste sweet when there's literally tonic water in it? Why no? It should taste bitter. Suna shrugged his shoulders and grinned mischievously. You should try it Samu. Osamu raised his glass and arched an eyebrow. Tilting his drink slightly left and right to present Suna what was obvious. Thanks. Got my own. Nah. Suna tapped on his glazed lips. I meant here. And Osamu drew his eyebrows together and couldn't help but stare at those soft lips, ready to let their mouths collide against each other. Yeah dating Kamori. And the founder of Pringles was buried in a Pringles can. Osamu blinked in bewilderment. What? Huh? Are we stating unnecessary facts now? Osamu arched his brows. I'm not gonna cheat on Kamori with ya, Suna. Oh. Suna? Seems like Osamu got serious, and Suna couldn't help but grin foolishly. So you would kiss me if I wasn't dating Kamori? Osamu blushed and remained silent. He kind of just admitted that by stating that, didn't he? It's not cheating if you help me out. How in the world is that helping out? 
Sooner smirked. Oh you know. Getting my taste buds back? Making sure I'm not sick or something? Osamu snorted. The look Sooner shot him made him swoon. He propped his elbows on top of the counter, his chin resting in his palms. Suna glanced at him from below, knowing how to show off his shitty attractive face. Suna was a menace, and Osamu knew this was all wrong. He would never get involved with his best friend. He knew best how many hearts he had already broken and he was sure that Suna probably wasn't really serious about any of them. So no, Suna could talk as much nonsense as he wanted. Osamu would not join in his shenanigans. Funny how he suddenly leaned over the counter and their faces were a tad too close. For the record, I'm just helping out. Suna grinned. Just checking on a friend. It was so wrong. Suna leaned forward and met Osamu halfway in a chaste kiss. Osamu didn't put much effort into it. Suna didn't deserve it. And frankly Osamu had no desire to be just another hookup of his. He was better than anyone Suna had been sleeping with. He didn't even know why he had gotten involved in this crappy kiss. Heck. Suna was his best friend and nothing more. Yeah okay. Maybe Osamu thought he was hot as hell. And maybe he was incredibly jealous every time Suna got laid. Not that he'd ever show it. But he swore he'd never get involved with him. Because Suna wasn't serious about any of it. While Osamu certainly was. Osamu pulled away and looked at his best friend. Bored. Congratulations. Yeah not sick. Suna smirked. Are you sure? I don't think you've checked properly. Rin. Osamu warned him. What, are you afraid that you might fall in love with me? He said nonchalantly, leaning back for a brief moment as he flailed his arms. You're yeah, annoying, you know that? And you're a freaking scaredy cat. Wow. Osamu's face remained completely unimpressed. I could be dead by tomorrow, you know. Only because my best friend was too much of a coward to help me out and properly check if everything was still okay with my mouth. You might be a little too dramatic. Not at all. Besides, there's been nothing right with your mouth for too long. So you're too much of a coward to check after all? Osamu sighed and rolled his eyes. You're a fucking idiot. Suna grinned as Osamu leaned in a second time. Parting his lips with his thumb. Eyes focused and ready to sink into his taste again. Osamu inhaled deeply as he felt Suna's mouth on his own. Shivers running down his spine. He licked at Osamu's lower lip. Intent on exploring everything about the grey-haired twin. Osamu looked him in the half-lidded eyes. Met the middle blocker's curious gaze. So he let him. He let Suna's tongue enter his mouth. Let them caress. Explore every inch of each other. Osamu's heart fluttered. He'd never kissed anyone the way he was currently kissing Suna. And he couldn't get enough. Osamu didn't know how long he had wanted this. Probably too long. Fuck. Far too long. Suna pushed him away and clicked his tongue. Eager. He looked Osamu in the eyes and smirked. Licking his lips. Satisfied? Suna's gaze drifted back to Osamu's mouth. Biting his bottom lip. Not at all. Yeah dating Kamori. Osamu's gaze also lingered on Suna's lips. He gulped. Are we stating unnecessary facts again? Don't do that, Rin. I'm not doing anything. Yeah drunken should leave now. Honey, the only drink I had today was this baby. Suna raised an eyebrow and swayed his drink. The two drew closer, their lips almost touching again. Osamu hitched a breath. He spoke softly, his voice already hoarse with arousal. I will not cheat on Kamori with ya. Osamu repeated, this time not at all as confident as he had been minutes before. It's not cheating when you help out a friend. Suna cupped Osamu's slightly flushed cheek with his right hand and he immediately leaned into the touch, closing his eyes, and enjoying Suna's intimacy. He clouded Osamu's mind. The grey-haired man could no longer manage to think straight. Shit, had he been drinking too much? Samu. Suna's hand moved to Osamu's chin, grabbed it and pulled him down towards him, lips already hovering over each other again. I think I need a little more help than that. Osamu hummed. And what are you thinking about? Suna let his fingertips ghost over Osamu's biceps, gazing at him lustfully. I think you should take a closer look at my body, and just to be fair, I should do the same to you. So you just want to admire my body? Osamu was getting more playful and reckless. It must have been the alcohol. And maybe Suna was to blame too. Oh no. Suna grinned before pulling Osamu into another sloppy kiss, about to outright devour him, and something flickered in Osamu's stomach. Suna smirked into the kiss, breaking away for a moment while their mouths still touched. Then he spoke with confidence. I want to do you. And well, Osamu let him, 